answer crazy motherfucking questions. This has been great, man. Hey, Warren, you in the house? Yeah, I'm in the house, man. Boy, I'm glad, man. I was out shit. having my shirt iron. Hey, fuck it, man. <laughs> Come on up, man. I'm having my yeah. shirt iron in case some Latrell Sprewell looking Martha Stewart motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, man. Let's have a little uh, comedy jam session. Well, we got a lot of good we got all the, Is all the mics live? Yep. Yeah. All right, we got a bass player here. You're supposed to have something to do. Oh, yeah. Hey. And then, um, yeah, we'll check this thing. shit out. Yeah, this... And then, you know, then we're going to do our thing. Yeah, okay. This is good. This is well, good. You know what? It's all good. Uh, this is good. Y'all going to see some shit tonight. We got a lot of good comics in the house. It's a world class, world class event. Now, we're going to show y'all something that y'all have never seen. Even he doesn't know what we're about to do tonight. Because this is highly experimental comedy. I will unleash this shit on you tonight. For good. You want to be introduced by Greg Probst? Oh, for Mike? bad. <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. and Sandy Duncan guest star on 2020. <laughs> These are vision sketches, ladies and gentlemen. Folks, hello. Because Niner games, man, San Francisco and the Raider fans, they don't like each other. Because San Francisco fans think they're sophisticated. You know, the vendors are walking around. Lightly browned halibut on a rice pilaf bed. Who needs one? Raider vendors walk around. Freeze dried squirrel chunks. Who needs some squirrel chunks? Who needs moose stew? Who needs some moose stew? I got public defenders. Who needs a public defender? <laughs> Raider fans are real fans. Enough about me. There's actually sodomy laws in America. I cannot believe that. They're governing our sex acts. Sodomy laws. First of all, the enforcement's virtually impossible. Which hole is that in, sir? Can you prove it? You know, give me a fucking break. <laughs> I mean, sodomy laws, what better icebreaker on a first date, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, wordy lose em. let's go to the board. This week on wordy lose em, we discover where Warren lost the audience. Warren's buttfuck sketch failed to generate the heat that his earlier bits had generated. The audience did not want to take the plunge into the Quantum Leap River from here. They went down the non-sequitur bridge and walked around to No Laughterville. We'll be back with more wordy lose them later. Now the energy in the room is down here at the Sinbad I'm Not Funny line. Yes, all of a sudden Warren's a big orange nigger in a jumpsuit selling McRibs for no reason. We'll be back with more wordy lose them later. And then all of a sudden, like, imagine being in jail. Your life's messed up. You're doing life. You know, things are horrible. You know, you're getting gang raped occasionally. Things aren't good, but you adjust, right? Okay. Now your cellmate's like Jeffrey Dahmer walks in. Could you imagine the guy who's his cellmate? You know, some guy just went, oh, no, that's all I need. Yeah, oh. So he's got to walk around like, woo, I taste horrible. Oh! A lot of people think I'm gamey. Did I ever tell you I had toxic nuts, Jeffrey? I lived near the Love Canal, skinny dipping one day. Well, that's another story. It's me, me, me. What about you, Jeff? You know, no wine goes good with a buff Negro, Jeff. <laughs> Just thought you should know that little culinary tip. These are cannibalism jokes, folks. You know what's fucking amazing to me? I just read where this crisscross is opening on the road for Michael Jackson. Man, that is sad. Michael's sitting there watching that video. <clears throat> I want him. <laughs> Macaulay, you have to go home. Webster, get out of here. <laughs> oh, come on. He hangs out with little boys, so I get booed. He, I, he hangs out with little boys, I get booed. You know, come on. That's not fair. He gets a boner every time he sees the fucking Miracle Whip boy, and I get booed. <laughs> Michael Jackson, all the fame, all the money in the world, he wanted to be happy to. He's a blonde woman, let's face it. <laughs> Runs up to the UPS man, did my mom she made pussy hands come in the mail? <laughs> Not today, Michael. You must wait for your Marsha Brady pussy hairs. You're stacked up in deliveries. Your pussy hairs take no precedent over the other. I am so despondent. I tried to call Michael Jackson. I got some big balls. I tried to call Michael Jackson. He don't answer his phone. He got a secretary, so I call him. Is Michael there? 
Uh, I'm sorry, Michael Jackson is, doesn't take phone calls. I'm sorry. Like, well, how about Janet Jackson? Janet's in the studio. I'm really appalled at you calling here. Let me speak to Jermaine. Jermaine is recording right now. Who the hell are you? Let me speak to Tito. This is Tito. <laughs> We're war. Why don't we wait flags and we're peace? Why don't we be proud of that? I like that. I was at a peace march once and this fucker comes up to me. Hey, fuck you, man! Love America, leave, fucker! <laughs> I'm pro war. That was like 25, kind of buffed, kind of stupid. I said, Why are you over there fighting? Well, you know, fuck, man. I'm going to city college trying to get some beaver. <laughs> okay, I understand your conviction. Jesus up to the plate, the lanky right-hander from Bethlehem. In the box knocks the dirt off his sandals and he means business. You know, Bobby's been on a tear since he got off the three-day disabled look. You better believe it, Jesus can't seem to get out a notorious guest hitter. Ground ball to the shortstop. He goes blind. Oh, my God. What is it? The left fielder picks it up. He's a pillar of salt. Ooh, that's got to hurt you. hope to see a guy turn into a pal of sodium this early in the season. out onto the field with her umbrella. <laughs> Whoa! Well, I got nothing on that sketch. <laughs> Dude. You know, when you try to write Bart, don't you hate when you don't have your dollar dry you're in a hurry? <laughs> you're trying to get on that train, like, come on, let me on the fucking train. Let me on the fucking train. No, please let me on the fucking train. Come on, this is George Washington. Come on, please. You gotta iron your dollar. <laughs> Walk downtown, excuse me, I'm going to Bart. Don't fuck up my dollar, please, please. <laughs> Walking to people, ah, oh, you'll be late for work, dickhead. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Commuter terrorist strikes again. A Bart dollar was wrinkled today. The <laughs> Some jokes are too funny to get laughs, I said.